Hi guys, so I just poured a tabletop um, and if you guys want to see that pour, it'll be the video just before this one. And um, I have some leftover paint and I thought uh, how nice would it be if I made a matching painting to it. So that's what I'm doing here. Uh, I am uh, going to link all the colors in the description. I'm going to describe each one of them and um, the brand and if you want to see how I mix my paint, uh, which is just with water, um, you can see video number 36. Uh, I'll link that as well and um, you can go and I usually eyeball, but I did make a video in which I measure the paint and water ratio and I show it to you. This is going to be a white base with all those leftover colors. Um, I will call out the colors as I go um, pouring them. I'm thinking maybe that tabletop, I just went right in the middle and did a Dutch pour with the hairdryer um, in this uh, pattern. But in this, I think I'm going to go a little bit organic, uh, maybe uh, layering it the similar way as the tabletop because it was stunning. It just came out stunning, those color combinations. Uh, so let's get started with this and let's see how this one turns out. Let's pour the white first and I've just mixed more white because that's the only paint that I didn't have much left over. So it's got a little bit of air bubbles. All right, should I just pour it? Okay, I'll just pour it down the middle and I'll tilt it on both sides. That's what I usually do. That's what I did with the table and it worked out really well. And then the edges and corners I can get with the popsicle stick. So sorry, it's going to go a little bit out of screen. Right. This is, I think I uh, made the paint a bit too runny. Uh, so I am just going to spread it with this popsicle stick and add white wherever I feel I need to add it. Uh, which, by the way, I usually stretch my white quite thin just so that it has a nice even coating um, and I don't flood it too much. I do flood it on the top when I do the top colors, so that adds to it. All right, I'm, I might speed this up or I might just edit this and so that you guys, you know, it's not too boring for you guys. But this is what I usually do, just add wherever I need to and spread it out. And then, of course, get the edges uh, as well, because it looks nice when the paint has something to uh, overflow on and it just makes it uh, better. So this is the fluorescent pink. So I'm going to do that like this. That's a nice shape, I think. And not too much at the edge still. Finishing up my paints. Right. Then I think I went with. Uh, I think I went with the purple, the dioxin purple, dioxazine purple, or something like that. I really can't say <laughs> pronounce it very well. Okay. Then the fluorescent blue, I think, yes, it look nice. Put it out here because this blue is very pretty. Then I'm going to go with the yellow blue and I mixed a lot of this. So let's see. Yeah, that'll look 
looks good. I am going to do a little bit of this thalo green, which mixed with the blue looks stunning, I must say. Uh, not too much. I don't want it to be overwhelmed with this. And then on top of that, I think I'm just going to go ahead and pour the gold because the green and the gold might make shades of blue. So it's, it's a little bit of a yellow tone. Okay. What else? Oh, I have this beautiful copper by Amsterdam. Most of these are Liquitex colors, except for the copper. And then um, I think I'm using some Brestro colors also. Look at that big fat bubble. <laughs> All right, the copper tends to have these bubbles. Um, let's pour a lot of this. Well, not a lot, but some of this white. Okay. And then let me get the hair dryer. This is a little bit of an awkward position because I have my resin work drying over there. And usually I work on that side. So I have to figure this, this thing out. Let me see if my blow dryer will reach. Yeah, it'll, it'll be fine. Just gonna pull it. All right. Let's do the right over the colors. So we make even more beautiful colors by interacting. I see a lot of bubbles. The cells already want to come out. Okay, so since this is a little bit at the edge, I think I'm going to start with blowing out this way. But this is even more at the edge. All right, I'm just going to try to blow like this and then maybe like that. Let's try that. Drop something. <laughs> Sorry, it's on my popsicle sticks. All right, let's continue. Oh, my goodness! Oh, my goodness. That is a beautiful, beautiful pour. Very little fluorescent pink, but I see it peeking through. Oof. I don't know if I need to do anything. It is so gorgeous. Oh. Guys. And so many cells just with paint and water, except for the base in which I use Liquitex pouring media. Let's get this. I think I want more cells. There's enough happening. But I just need to pop some bubbles. And the ends. Oh, they're so beautiful. And the copper and the gold didn't take over, just little dashes of it. It's beautiful, beautiful. When I take you in for a close-up, you'll see what I mean. I'm going to fix this a little bit. Maybe just pour a little bit of white. Oh, there is enough white, I think, but just so it flows a little. You're going to see my head now. <laughs> That's it. I don't want to make it too patterny. I don't even know if that's a word, but I think you know what I mean. There's some, some cup here. Ooh. I reused the, the cup for the, the white, so I think there was a little bit of something there. So I might just fix that. Okay. 
That's pretty. I might do one more of that. Yeah, it's beautiful. So much softness here. I don't think I need to do anything more to this painting. I was saving a little bit of paint so that I thought this would be too blank, but no. That's it, just a little soft. Blow very gently over here if you don't want, you know, the pattern to sort of splatter. Just wondering if I should rotate this or just call it a day. There's a lot of paint here. I know if I blow here, there's going to be a, a splash of pink and I might want a little pop there. So let's turn this. But before I do that, let's just get some going at the ends where I see that the canvas is showing a little bit. Yeah. And it'll dry flat, so I'm not worried about that. Okay. Or let's try to get this right. I got the whole picture and I'm going to blow right here. Maybe I shouldn't, but I'm so tempted. Yeah. I'm tempted to blow here. But I don't want to disturb this beautiful flow and movement that I've got. And oh my God, the cells on the side. I think I'm done, guys. I'm just going to give it one run, of, run over with the blow torch. And I am so done. This is a beautiful painting. Just absolutely. Today seems to be my day. Some days go so bad that I'm struggling to fix it. And some days it's just perfect. All right, I did see a spot that I might. This is a little bit messy, so I'm just gonna try blowing on it. Oh my goodness, that purple and that bronze, or copper actually. And it made such beautiful cells. Okay, I'm gonna show you very soon. I'm not gonna blow on it anymore. It's so stunning. All right, let's take you for a close up. See what I mean by the movement and the composition in this, guys? Let's see if I can get you a top view. And let's take you in for that close-up, starting with the sides. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. It's almost like alcohol ink. Those shades and that pattern. And look at this. Look at that. <laughs> Oof. Sorry, I'm just finding this so beautiful. <laughs> Look at these cells. Almost 3D-ish uh, sort of effect. Sorry about the glare. Perfect, perfect cells. And this portion that I blew with my mouth. I love the shade of that copper and gold with the purples and the greens. See what I mean by the thalo green? It's like this emerald color mixed with white and blues. Oof. Look at that. 
crazy, crazy things happening in this painting. show you the side. Isn't that amazing? So from this side. And then when this dries, I'll try to make it part of this um, video or if not, please come to my Instagram. I post everything, everything there once it dries and um, you'll get to see this. And I think this painting will just need varnish. I don't think I'm even going to resin this painting because it's a big size um, and it doesn't need it. It's so beautiful. It has so much stuff happening. I think this painting is about not even 12. I think it's 14 inch by uh, 16 inch. Thank you guys. Thank you for being with me through this amazing uh, Dutch pour um, that I've done today and that has come out and it has surprised me also. And I think this will complement the table so well, which by the way, I should show you. Uh, that's where I dropped off <laughs> all my used popsicle sticks. Um, this is the painting, uh, the table, and that's what I did. See that? And it has some amazing details also, but, um, but not like the painting. The painting is even more gorgeous. But I think it'll go very well with that. So thank you for um, being with me. Thank you. And um, I, you know, it's your support that makes me want to do this again and again. And um, please like, please don't go without subscribing if you haven't already. And head on back and don't miss my uh, Dutch pour with the on the tabletop. And um, that will get resin, of course, uh, once it dries completely in about two weeks. Um, and um, let's make another painting again very soon. Bye, guys.